at the sun again in this. We know very well that this is a station owned by the so-called known Rupert Murdoch. So when it gets to this point whereby they are still saying things that when you question yourself as a person, how do they even come to know this? Or are they still hacking the Duke and Duchess of Sussex phone? Or maybe are they still hacking Harry's phone? Those are some of the questions people will be able to start questioning themselves simply because they see how come. Like imagine today the sun rot. Prince Harry and Meghan, in quote, disagree about how to raise their kids. How do they know this? How do they even come about and give out such an information without any evidence? The sun is just literally so much getting out of track. Day in, day out, they keep on failing. I've always said that these media houses are supposed to be giving people genuine news, information going countrywide, worldwide, things that people will want to hear. But instead, what they do is just giving people gossip, news that don't even matter to them. Personal issues to do with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, how does it come a news to the whole world? How does it even concern them at some point? Whether true, whether lies, but the sun is just genuinely, seriously getting out of hand. And each and every statement they say is underestimated. That's what I can say. And allow me to take you to an article that written was written by Casey. It has a title that states, The sun said, and I quote, Prince Harry and Meghan disagree about how to raise their kids. I'm still bewildered by the British medians insistence on their 2023 summer storyline. Harry and Meghan are in trouble, despite all evidence to the contrary. I guess that's the storyline the British consumer wants to hear and wants to believe. Prince Harry and Meghan are simply two private people raising their children and minding their business in Montecito. But that's one thing they haven't come to acceptance. They haven't accepted that, you know what, we no longer have Prince Harry. The Harry lived together with his family. They are busy living their best life, living their best in a very peaceful environment, raising their kids in a private manner where people don't know anything about them. But you get to be shocked when uh, the royal, well, let me say the UK press at large, have all information to do with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex together with their kids, bearing in mind they aren't even out. Trust me, you, they are really failing. And I bet it's a high time they just get back to themselves and understand that, you know what, you just need to accept. Harry and Meghan are no longer ours and never getting back there. And the entirety of the British nation press is devoted to this mind-numbing commentary about them. It's been three and a half years since they left. They are not coming back. They are an added element to this latest piece in the sun. It's one of the tabloids being sued by Harry. So they have settled on a bonus storyline that no one is Harry's life supports his lawsuit, including Meghan. That's what they think, but they don't know a lot of people out here are up to it. A lot of people out here are still and will still continuing, will still want to listen what is going to partake next. This hasn't ended. It's just begun. And Harry is going to fight them till until when justice has prevailed. He's not doing this for the sake of him himself. He's not doing this for the sake of just capturing attention. But what he's fighting for is a free and truthful journalism back in the UK. And they need to understand there are people who love their lives being made in a private or handled in a private manner. So they shouldn't just be waking up, hacking people's phone and just publishing them for the sake of their own clicks. That's one thing amongst the lessons that Harry wants to teach them and that they can't just get away with things the way they are so much used at doing. Bearing in mind, there are a hundred other people who are also sued the same, same people over the same, same case. But it's just that they don't have a voice. 
and that's why maybe it's not been taken in a serious manner and those are some of the people also have really is trying to assist in one way or another real talk i think harry and megan probably have heard some disagreements about how much their kids should be exposed to the world which that's a better or a good argument trust me you it is a good argument having to want your kid being left in a private thing or their life being made private such an amazing thing not to get the exposure or oh, i know very well what megan wouldn't want to see is her kids living the same exact life that harry lived no mother no father no parent would want such a situation to happen to his or her kids in another world Megan should have loved to put photos of her kids on Instagram and show her pride in her family. I was actually surprised that we did see so many photos and videos of the kids on the Netflix series, but that was very controlled and we rarely saw their full faces. But yeah, I think all these points they are on the same page. Plus, the son is basically just complaining because they are desperate to see blue-eyed Lily and cute pie Archie. Their kids are beautiful and the British papers wish they could publish photos of them. As for the idea that Megan wants Harry to move on from the lawsuit, again, they are just desperate for Megan to come to London to support Harry in court. I think Megan knows this and something Harry has to do and she's very supportive of him in this and all things there's one thing people need to understand harry and megan are living such such an amazing life and i bet they always have a discussion before coming out to do anything as a couple as a family as a married thing they always sit down and consult one another so the british need to understand no matter how hard they've got other several of opinions it doesn't literally really really matter to the duke and duchess of sussex they will never get to hear them utter even a single word at any particular moment we know very well what they want is maybe interviews or what they're expecting it so as to happen but that's never going to be the case it's never ever going to happen and they won't love simply because none of the expectations will ever come to a fulfillment the life harry and megan want to give to their kids it's up to them as a parent and i support them making their kids life private that would be an awesome thing for them to do not to experience what harry had to experience over the years over when when he was growing up the the press I'm not forgetting at some point also Megan experienced it and it wasn't a good thing and it wasn't a good experience at any particular point for her. So I bet Harry and Megan Archie Lilibet are such in a best class, never in or never going back to a toxic environment again, but willing to stay back in a non-toxic environment, a peaceful environment whereby you are free and can able to move in or out when you feel like not like this so-called uk thing whereby no one had the freedom to even walk out simply because of the tension the press the trolling the intrusion was just so much unbearable one thing i can say and one thing i've always said i wish nothing but the best both for the duke and duchess of sussex together with their kids both as a family, they deserve nothing but blessings and blessings and blessings. And they will continue emerging out successful day in, day out. As much as people out here want to see them just degrading, they won't be able to see them getting derailed at any particular point, but continue emerging successful. So the son needs to understand at some point we even feel whatever they bring about is just nothing but things that don't add up, things that literally don't even make sense and we don't care about that. I don't know what you think about this, but kindly just leave your comments and thoughts down below. See you guys in our next podcast. Bye.